There's only one that I know of on Juma, but there are plenty around here. And the one at Juma doesn't produce fruits quite like this one. So Bobby, this is for you. You wanted to see a sausage tree. There you go. It's not too difficult to see why it is called a sausage tree because they look like giant salamis or something along those lines. Here's, here's a little bit of advice for you. Um, for those of you that do come and travel to Africa, don't park under a sausage tree because every now and again those things come loose and they are heavy and they will dent your car and quite possibly, I suppose, if you're really unlucky, they will concuss you. Now there you go, Bobby, and many others actually wanted to see a sausage tree. Let's go closer. I can see a fruit on the ground, so whilst I'm not allowed technically to alight from my vehicle, I will be able to lean down and pick it up and then put it back again just to show you what a sausage fruit looks like. I'm going to break my rule and go and park under it. Vim, how sturdy do you think the roof is? Do you think it'll survive a, a sausage tree landing? I hope not. I don't think this roof will survive. I think we'd be in big trouble. Okay, there's quite a few sausage fruits on the ground. That's a comforting thought as we head underneath it. Yeah. Please don't fall on me. Oh, there's all tiny ones. There's a big one. I can't position myself such that I can reach it. So, Bim, if you can have a look at the view. There we go. Okay, there's a sausage fruit. Here we go. That is what a sausage fruit looks like. And just to give you a... There is a Monty Python sketch in this somewhere. Are there any lions around me? No. This is technically a picnic tree. What do you think, Vim? Technically a picnic tree? It's got a mowed area, area around it. It's a picnic tree. Definitely a picnic tree. In fact, I'm pretty certain on the map I've seen that it's a picnic tree. Sorry, hold on one second, Lou. I'm just, uh, we'll just uh, have a look at the view, shall we, Vim? That view over there. There we go. Perfect. I want to give you a sense of scale. I thought we were still looking at the view. <laughs> it's really heavy. Stay there. Um, hold on a minute. I'll talk about the sausage fruit in a moment, but I appear to have discarded my earpiece with alarming willingness. There you go, back into my ear you go. There, now I can hear Lou. Sausage tree fruit. It's enormous, huh? It is meter long, would you say, Vim? And it weighs, if I had to guess, you can see where it's cracking open. It weighs probably somewhere in the region of, I would guess, 12 kilograms? No, more. No, that's about 12. So what's that, 24 pounds? Yep, yeah. ooh. There's um, all kinds of things on it. I was gonna try and break it open so you can see the fruit inside because we have a question from, who was that? Sorry, Lou, I missed it. Dear Watcher, Dear Watcher, you want to know if you can eat the fruit? Apparently you can, I've never eaten it before. It looks like a squash. Uh, there, that's probably, oh, goodness, there's so many insects coming out of here. There you go. <laughs> Exquisite bliss. Um, I don't know if it tastes like sausage. I have never eaten one. I don't think it tastes like salami, that much I would guess. Um, I'm just trying to remember with 100% confirmation because there's one fruit out here that you can't eat unless, unless it's cooked. And I can't remember which one it is. And therefore, I'm reluctant to taste this one in case I die or become very ill. 
But there you go. That is the sausage fruit. Let me just double check on my information about before you all go off and and eat sausage fruits because I know you have easy access to them. Uh, let's just double check exactly how edible it is. Oh my goodness! Oh, I broke it. Well, there you go. Fruit, sausage tree, fruit. Grow more beautiful trees. I was hoping that perhaps there might be a leopard in it, but there isn't. <laughs> I think it's time to move on from a sausage tree. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's time to move on from the sausage tree before one of them lands on our heads. I can't get out. I'm trapped. There's rocks everywhere. The sausage tree has trapped me beneath its... Maybe it's all a plot. That's how it ensnares its victims. It is a beautiful tree and they have the most beautiful red flowers when they do flower. The Inyala used to eat ours back at the camp I used to work at. Okay. Is that a rock or a sausage tree fruit? Okay, while I escape the clutches of the sausage tree, it sounds like Steph is right up on the top of the mountain looking at what's happening at the crossings, and I'm sure you'd like to know.